I'm going to be looking at the Layfly Ceramic Space Heater fan. I'll just open it up and see what we get in the box. There's a stand there. I know this comes with remote control. Let's put that to the side. It's a 29, 29 inch bladeless. Oh, that seems to all left out. Just put that there. And that's everything in the box. Yeah. this out of the way. Let's have a look. There's the instructions and the remote control. Now this has got an LED screen. And, uh, it's nine speed. That's a setting up, so I'll have to put it together. Set it up. I'm going to try this for about a week and uh, see how it gets on, and then come back with my uh, full written review. That's the remote control that comes with a battery. There's a power lead there tucked underneath. Okay, with a cable. And that will stand on. Anyway, what I shall do is I shall set it all up and then I'll get it going and I shall come back with that. I've been using this now for around a week. Um, I said when I've opened it up, putting it together, but it was just a case of clipping this down onto the base and that just clips in securely. Um, there is a screw on the bottom to change the HEPA filter on the bottom that's in the instructions i didn't think the instructions were particularly great they weren't uh weren't very detailed and they you know there's a few things i sort of had to find out rather than being in the instructions um this moves so you can get any angle from the blow you can move this about with the top but don't touch the sides they're too hot or they get too hot um Let's just turn it on. That's uh, on there. As I say, there's a few things in the instructions. Uh, you, you change what it's doing. This goes to minus, and that's the hot where well, it is on this one anyway. And it gives the uh, temp room temperature on there. And you can turn that up out to three. That's. Uh, considerable sort of blow from it and then you've got the adjustment the swivel adjustment and it does heat the room fairly well um, and it heats up as I say reasonably quickly and it's not too heavy to move about and uh, the timers here Starts off at zero hours. Let me just stop that when it comes back round. I can show that better. I'll stop that there. And the time. Oh, sorry. Stop it. Uh, that's another thing with the remote control. You have to be really within direct line of it. It's not sort of stand away from it and press it. You have to point it at it. It's. Uh, not the greatest in that way. Um, so the timer's here, zero hours, and you just take it up. That works fine. I tested that out. Then you could change the mode to cold. You can increase that fan speed on there. That's cool there. And then mow it back to there. And that's about it. As I say, it works fairly well. There's a the manual wasn't the best and the remote control, yeah, you have to be pointing it at it fairly closely. If I hold it uh, like that. Oh no, that did work. Oh well. Anyway, remote control, you generally have to point it at it. But that's it. What I shall do is I'll come back with my full written review.